right, welcome back to welcome back to Lynn Dobb Elementary School in Bravia, Illinois, everybody. I'm Randall McFarland. This is a We Are Mobile production live stream here at Lynn Dopp. Uh, we got a special game between the men of distinction and the Lynn Dopp students. And right now we have a guest with us, Mr. Gregory Buchanan, St. Joe's alum, uh, board member of Lynn Dopp Elementary School and also a man of the community. I'll let, how you doing, Greg? I'm good, how you doing? Hey, you know what, we, want, we, we always want to educate the community about outstanding organizations in our community. Can you let them know what Men of Distinction is all about and how long it's been established? It's just a mentor of uh, dads, the kids that go to Lendop and we chaperone, uh, bow ties, uh, take them out to dinner, just have lectures with them, just, you know, just give them back and, and, and guide them into the right way. And, uh, and not the wrong path. Even the ones that we, we can't get to, we still go to them. If they need a ride to school, uh, we take our time to go do that. Yeah, first of all, I want to say that's outstanding. And if, if there's any fathers or any, not even just fathers, but men in the community who wants to volunteer or be involved, who do they reach out to and how they get in contact with you? They can reach out to me or they can call the school and, and speak to the assistant principal or they can reach out to Greg Buchanan. I'm not hard to find. I'm in the community volunteering at everything I do. Uh, like I said, I'm on the board, so I'm not a hard man to find. That's true. Uh, you know what? I wish we actually going to a Bulls game tonight. I wish uh, the next collaboration that we do with the Bulls and Danka Basketball League, we're going to make sure we reach out to you guys, the men of distinction, and bring some of these Lindau players with us. Uh, what do you think of the Lindau Basketball team? I mean, first of all, they got young legs, how are y'all going to combat them young legs? And, and I know y'all veterans, I know. So how are you going to combat them young legs? Well, like I said, I'm a St. Joe's guy and uh, under, under Pignatore, so I'm going to follow his rules from back in the day. That's all. Rest in peace uh, to Pignatore. But uh, we're just going to take it slow. Yeah, you know? we gonna, uh, I mean, we're going to run a zone, not a man-to-man, -man, and just let these guys go to work while we try to go to work on them. That's true, and I know your brother Chris played for St. Joe's yes, also. Yes, yes, What year did you come out of St. Joe's? 92. 92? And I remember Chris came out in 83, was it? Chris, in my brother came out in 80, yeah. 84? Yes, 84. He went downstate, I remember yep. that. Okay. Well, we got a charger man on the course, so yes. uh, we can never count y'all out. And if there's any need for any oxygen, you know, just wave to the side. Yeah, I know. I'm going to sub all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I you appreciate what, you, man. I appreciate you. I know we appreciate y'all doing this. And, and like I said, everybody, we're going. if you want to get in contact with me in a distinction, reach out to We Are Mobley, reach out to Lindop Elementary School. Or if, you, if you're really in the community, you know you're going to see uh, Greg in the community just at a restaurant somewhere volunteering, so he's not hard to find. So right. Appreciate what y'all doing. We got y'all support. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. So what we need to do now, y'all, I'm going to try to get y'all the name of some of the players. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some of them to come over and sign their name because uh, it's an array of the men playing in this, in this alumni game. Now, I see one guy, he played with me in the uh, Provisors alumni game. He can shoot. And I'm going to get him to come over and sign his name and some of the others. So we're here live at Lindop Elementary School where the men of distinction is about to battle the students, the, the young boys basketball team. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna stand by and uh, be ready for tip off momentarily. Okay, you got time to make it. Get over here.
being a distinction and the young Linda basketball players. It didn't look like the men of distinction were begging for mercy. It looked like they were just having a great man to man, man to boy conversation. Um, it's good to see that you got an organization like Middle Distinction in, a, in our, one of our local schools. I recognize many of these gentlemen, and they are role models in our community. So this, this is this is powerful stuff here. This is beyond basketball right now. I see Mr. Akeem. Henderson jumping center for Vizuis alumni, and he got the tip. Let's see if Greg Pan and he put the first basketball, Mr. Greg Buchanan, St. Joe's alumni. Men distinctions. Now they better keep an eye on this young man because he will drain. That's a three. Uh oh, King bringing the ball up. Oh yeah, I can tell right now, there's gonna be some sore bodies. <laughs> that's great, that, that's uh, District 92 and a half board member, Ray Buchanan. I thought he was going to the free throw line. Oh, look at the king. Oh, Mr. Henderson, that's Belia's dad. Nice move. It's an air ball. Okay, let's see. It looks like the men of distinction has gotten into the head of the young Tigers. Well, there's a steal. And a layup. And a layup. Let's see if the pressure by the Tigers are. That's a good pass underneath the basket. Cannon and his teammates battling for the rebound, but the Tigers are pushing. They're gonna test the legs of the men of distinction. They're gonna test their win. And they desire to pull this victory off. They're like I see a lot of family members in the audience to the men of distinction. Mr. Mr. Hey, Henderson, let it ride. He's bringing the ball down. I thought he'd be down low, but he said, I got guard skills. That should be a foul. Mr. Loki, that's what's on the back of his jersey. He's going to the free throw line. Oh, no, no free throws. The Tigers are up five to four. And the distinction. Remember, bombing from the outside. That's Woody. Morris. Board member Woody Brown. That's a steal by Men of Distinction. Oh, yeah, this, this is going to be a highly contested battle. Uh, there is no backing off. You can see that automatically right now. That was a nice stroke by Mr. Woody uh, Morris, the board member. I ain't no board members. Well, yeah, yeah. Greg Buchanan is a board member. I know his basketball pedigree, but I know they know the, they had other board members who could play the game. I do know well, one of their board members is a from a proviso East cheerleader. Her name is Miss Penny Williams Wolford. Penny was my classmate, cheerleader at Proviso East. Class 86. This kid got moves, but it ain't gonna be easy for him today. Men of distinctions, they not gonna take it easy on them. They gonna, they gonna put some bodies on these young men. They gonna test their heart, test their spirit. <laughs> Got a first substitution coming in. I recognize this gentleman, Mr. Hopewell McPherson. Hope. He's a father of a student here at Lindop. I played with him in that Provisor's alumni game back in October. He 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 bombed away with some three pointers. He got a nice jump shot. There go board member Woody. Substitution. Okay, let's see if a king bomb from half court. 
That's a good pass. Buchanan's, Buchanan throwing, throwing his muscle around down low. Referees letting them play. The ref said, y'all gonna play. Ain't gonna be no freebies, no easy fouls. essentially in the zone. It's a jump shot. Rebound by Mr. Henderson. Mr. Henderson is just all over the court. Rebounding. Sis. Scoring. Like a true provisor, he's pirate. That he is. This kid will shoot from half court. You gotta watch him. That's a good pass. That was a beautiful pass. Right between the seams of the zone defense. Now keep an eye on Mr. Hope, because he will bomb two from half court from half court and Long distance, Steph Curry type range. He's in better shape than I because it's like he didn't have any problems going up and down the court for that Provisor alumni game. We're going to give you all the date of that Proviso East versus Proviso West alumni game coming up in April. Um, it's a possibility it will be live streamed by We Are Mobile, so we're going to keep you guys updated. Try to thread the needle. Out of bounds to men of distinction. Got a substitution. Keep an eye on the men of distinction who's breathing heavy. Yeah, Look at good. It's a block by Low Key. Mr. Henderson. Nice shot. Keem Henderson. Yeah, oh, they, oh my God, they're all over the floor. The men of distinction are playing with a lot of pride. Yeah. <laughs> the men of distinction coach yelling at them to get over to number 14. Don't let them shoot because he will drain it. He will dot your eye. I'm about to stand up. The coaches are standing in view of the court, so I'm about to stand up to announce this. Oh, that's a good move. Out of control, but uh, he looking for a foul. He begging for a foul. From, let's see what Bugs be right here. <laughs> Buck, Buck get the rebounds and put it back in. There he is. Rebound by board member Morris. I gotta find out if there's an unlimited amount of uh, timeouts. Right, let's see if Buck. Can him power his way to the basket like Pigna to a totem. Yes, he's looking for the foul. He was expecting a foul, but the referee is letting the play. What's the call by the referee? He can't ask for a breather. <laughs> he's been working hard. <laughs> can't blame him. This man is the public works director in the village of Maywood also, so he probably just came from work, came up here to be part of this event to, to put some encouragement and bonding with these young boys, so he deserves a little break. <laughs> Oh, Akeem, Akeem came to play. Mr. Henderson. Malia should be proud of her dad. Smiling at her dad's putting on the show out here. Oh, now that. I know that young man. That's Miss Marsh Washington, grandson, number 12. This kid can shoot. You gotta watch him. He's steady. Now, this is a mixture of the seventh grade and eighth grade boys basketball team. These, they, they are some great basketball players. Uh, that's Mr. Aaron Hawa in the game. Oh, 
Kowalski. Mr. Henderson came to play. Minute of six and up 13 to five. I believe they got the they got the attention of the, the Tigers. If the Tigers thought this was gonna be easy, because the young Tigers are used to getting a huge lead when they play the staff. You know, but the men of the Sinkshire said, no, nah, it's not going to be that way. No, we're going to get ahead of you. We're going to stay ahead of you. To see if y'all can play together to get back in the game. Nice hands by Mr. Sergio Sergio Martinez, Mr. Martinez. He's the father of a student here. Watch Mr. Hope now. He will, he will, he will, he will pull. He will pull. Good pass. Left hand cross court pass. Mr. Board member. There go Mr. Henderson. Henderson got to be close to a triple double already. A mental triple double. If even, if, even if it's not on paper, mentally he didn't get a triple double already. Number 40. Number 40 is going to hear from his teammates on that one. So there's a little timeout. Okay. Let me see if I get Mr. Board member. Let me see. I'm going to see who's going into the game, who's ever sitting on the bench. I'm going to get them to come over and do a quick interview. Yeah, they're breathing heavy. They breathe the minute the six are breathing heavy, but hey, they got a comfortable lead. So this is the first half. You still got time to make it to the for the rest of the game. We still got some room, but it is a nice crowd here, a nice family crowd. I see mothers, I see ki kids, babies. A very community-looking crowd here. So let me see who's going to be sitting on the bench. Thomas Mello. All right, everybody. We're joined by the head coach, Thomas Mallard, for the uh, uh, men of distinction. He's a teacher here at, uh, L at Lindop. Hey, coach, what are you seeing with your players so far? Right now, you know, uh, we got a little workout last night, and we didn't know how many players we we're going to have to show up, but we came in a way, and these guys putting on a good show. Uh, seems like we got a height advantage on these young men, and that's what we look like at this point. But we still got a long way to go. They got a big team. They got a lot of boys play against them. We don't have about six, seven players. So at this point, we're looking good. I agree with you. Y'all up? Y'all up? Y'all got a comfortable lead. I didn't know board member uh, Mr. Mr. Morris played basketball. I didn't know that. I knew Greg Buchanan played right. for St. Joe's and everything. Let me now. What did what did y'all say right before the game to the to the young man? Because it seemed like it was some bonding going on between the men of the six. We're that we basically letting these kids know that hey, we're trying to pull something together at the school where the men, the father, can bring more kids out and be more of a mentor to a lot of the kids at the school. Okay. That's one of the things we're trying to improve. Uh, if we can get more men's out right now, you can see we're just getting started with this program. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking to expand this program uh, with other schools in our era that can bring the father together as well. That's outstanding. So if we can do that, if we don't do them get by two or three schools, we'll be done great. You don't, I agree with you. This is a pow this is powerful. I just, and, and it's not just the young men that's on the on the basketball team, but I'm looking at how many kids are in the audience right now. There you go. This is a family event, so uh, we want to we appreciate y'all. There could be more kids in this in the classroom. Kids asking me about coming, but if the uh, parents can't come with them, they can't come to the game. So okay. I wish they could because you got a lot of parents that work at four o'clock that time of day and they can't come. But the kids. Uh, Beg me, Mr. Mallor, can you talk to the principal? Can we come to the game? I said, no, you got to have a parent present. So okay. That, okay. we could have more than this. Okay, well, yeah. it's good to see. Mallard, you're not, you're not from Maywood, are you? No, um, 
Broadview. I'm from Broadview. I live in Broadview. You, you grew up in Broadview? No, I'm, I'm from the south. You're from the south? I'm okay. from around uh, a little town called Greenville, Mississippi. Oh, yeah. yeah I got Hollandale. family down I got family down there in Mississippi, in like near Laurel, um, oh, yeah. Bassfield, all up in there. Yeah, uh, he ended up going to school in Mississippi Valley State. Uh, okay, Mississippi Valley track. State. Yeah, run, run track and uh, went out for the football team, did a little bit, but I didn't like it. I stuck with track and field. And okay. Did okay. great with it. Okay, HBCU, legendary yep. Mississippi Valley you State. You know it. You know it. All right. Well, we appreciate y'all. Keep, keep us updated on how we can help volunteer and recruit for y'all. Okay. Hey, you already did that by doing the stuff you do right now. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks. All right, John. That's the coach. That's the coach. He's happy with his players so far. What he's seeing. Yeah. We. He's always. He's always here at the game, supporting the uh, the students. Um. Very. Um, Distinguished gentleman, very calm, and that's good. Our, our, our students need a calm presence, a, a strong, he has a strong, uh, quiet strength about him. So it's good that uh, they have someone, and obviously many men and uh, ladies that the students can lean on. So, but back to the action. Men of distinction are up 20 to 11. We got three minutes and 32 seconds left. Look at, look at Hope battling for the ball. Look, look, I mean, look, these fathers are not backing off. <laughs> they not backing off, man. <laughs> they are not backing off. They want to put the gas, press the gas to the metal. They are not showing any mercy, but this is the way we play. This is the way majority athletes in our area grew up. They grew up playing against older um, athletes, and they didn't show any mercy. So we love seeing this. Yeah, it is very commendable that the men of distinction are giving they all. So thank goodness this is on a Friday and they can take off Saturday and Sunday to recuperate before they go to work Monday. That's a good pass. Two teammates battling for the, for the rebound. We got two minutes, 48 seconds left, second quarter. Uh, the men of distinction up 20 to 11. So it's good. I, I see. I see the, the men of distinction fathers. They smile and they laughing. The, uh, the Linda boys team. They, they're smiling, having a good time. Here's what you gotta look at. Look at all these kids in this gym. Look at all these kids. This is where the value of having men of distinction and organization like them in our community and our school. Look at the audience, and you're gonna, you see all those kids in the audience? I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to show them, but you look at all those little kids in the audience, okay? Now you, you, you add them, then you add all the boys that's playing in this game. What are these kids normally doing at this time of the day when they get out of school? So that's the impact of an of a event like this um, that the men of distinction are help organize and want to be a part of. They bring in the entire community together and these kids right now probably wouldn't be doing anything. So they're keeping them busy. They're keeping them busy. So uh, keeping them active in a family safe environment. And number 12 said, hey, you know, you need to be quiet, Mr. McFarland, because I'm going to nail this three pointer as you're talking. And then Mr. Henderson comes back and drink, launch one. That appears the ball going to be out of bounds in possession two men of distinction. I see Coach Brown across the court. She's the head coach for the girls' basketball team. She's more than capable of playing in this game. But she played against the students last week and did a great job. That's a nice basket. Yeah, Coach Brown did a great job navigating and helping the, the ladies defeat the girls basketball team. Yeah, well, and I, see, I also see the assistant principal and the principal of Lindop Elementary, they in the house. 
Referee keeping it tight. He said they're pushing off being a little bit too aggressive, so he's 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 tightening up the calls. He let him play early, but he's gonna tighten up the calls. This is a good matchup right here. This is a good matchup right here. Mr. Hope, Hope. Mr. McPherson. This kid got a nice game. They just magged the basketball, but they waved it off. But he got a lot of heart. Number 15, he, um, he, he does pretty much everything on the court. The rebound edge is definitely going to the men of distinction. So the, the young Tigers got to figure out a way how to minimize the rebound. And that's a douche, a trade right in the grill of a men of distinction. 24-17 in the distinction lead. Mr. Mr. King Henderson with the trickery, with the bag of tricks. This kid will launch from half court. You got to get, oh, oh, he got a little tricked up right there. And that's a turnover. I'm sorry, that's a kickball. Coach Nichols is keeping the score, and Coach Mouche is coaching the boys' basketball team right now. Board member, board member Silk Morris. Woody Morris is launching. That's like his 30th three-pointer of the half, but he's been draining them. In the in a tight zone. This kid got a nice in-between shot. He got a nice shot on, on point too, on key. He's on, he's going to be an eighth grader next year. Got a nice game. Okay, the, the men of distinction setting picks, trying to wear the youngsters down. Henderson with the trickery. And the putback. It was by the board president, District 92 board president, Aaron Hanna. That's Miss Anaya, dad. Hello, Anaya. Your dad is just made a putback. So we got a break in action. The minute station up 28 19. So we got halftime, everybody. Um, when we come back, we're going to have any update upcoming live stream here at Lindop. It's volleyball season just started. So we'll have all that information for you before the end of the game. And um, also keep in mind, there's some special stuff going on in Pirate Land this evening. One of our very own Glenn Rivers is, is in Chicago playing against the Bucks, the Bulls tonight. We'll talk about that more in the next half. So sit tight, go grab uh, some refreshments, and be back in three minutes. Here at Lindop Elementary, men of distinction versus the, Ele the Lindop Tigers boys basketball team.
right, that's the buzzer. You hear it, everybody. You hear it. That means halftime is over with. The gasping for air, the water fountain break is over with. It's time to resume the battle between the men of distinctions and the Lindop Tigers. The men of distinction are up 28 to 19 over the Tigers. I think they caught them off guard. The Tigers are used to jumping out over the adults. Whenever they play the staff of Lindop, they get out to a huge lead. And then the Lindop staff um, experience and wisdom and determination reels them in. They fell short this year, but last year they reeled them in from an 18-point deficit. And the, staff, and the staff won. This year they didn't. They lost by two points, I believe, no, a basket. Uh, but the minute the Sixers said, we are not going to go through that. We're going to put these youngsters away early. We're going to try to take away their confidence. We're going to try to take away their hearts. And the young Tigers said, no, you're not. We're going to keep knocking on the door. We're going to stay within striking range. And then hopefully by the fourth quarter, maybe around the fourth minute, the men of distinction would be too tired to get up and down the court. That's I, that got to be the strategy. I believe what the young Tigers might try to do, they might try to start pressing, full court pressing this, this next half. That's when the experience of the men of distinction should come into play. You know, uh, I see two I see a proviso. He's pirate. Two pirates out there for sure. And you see a, a St. Joe's Charger in Gray Buchanan. So there's some basketball knowledge on men of distinction. This kid is going to be a dynamic high school basketball player, for number 14. He's been doing stuff like that all season. Referee called a turnover on the men of distinction. Let's see if the Tigers are able to capitalize. That shot is up. There you go, Mr. Henderson with his 400 rebound of the game. Oh, he wanted to pull that. He wanted to pull the string on that. And that's Mr. Spiller with the ball. Henderson. And the Tigers are off for running. This kid got vertical jump, too. He is capable of dunking. He's under six feet, but he is capable of dunking. Great athlete. There go Buchanan. This is what he wanted. He's been waiting on this underneath. But the Tigers collapsed on him. He missed the layup. No, Mr. that's a board member throwing bows. <laughs> Mr. Boris said, get out of my way, young man. <laughs> that was called keep your body between the ball and the defender. Basic basketball fundamental. We got to find out if if uh, if Woody Morris played basketball in a way. I'm seeing some skills. I'm seeing some basic raw fundamental skills. So makes me wonder. We got the uh, board president right in front of us, Mr. Aaron Hanna. So, so we got uh, there's there's a little few issues with the scoreboard, so that's that's why we pausing right now. Oh wait 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 wait! It's 28 to 23. Whoa that that whoa that that score. That score got uh, they, the, the Tigers and reeled them in. They only down five points here. Been a distinction. Let's see how they handle this adversity. There go Mr. Moore's board member launching. Buchanan battling for the rebound. And uh, yeah, Buchanan, he loves being underneath, obviously. This is a crucial, crucial trip down the court for the Young Tigers. He launches. Uh, Mr. Spiller pass to Mr. Morris. His reverse is blocked. 
Here come number 14 with the wraparound pass that's deflected. Appears the ball will be, the possession will be to the Tigers or men distinction. Men of distinction, possession. Referee calls their ball. Got Mr. Michael Holmes, men of, dis men of distinction, sitting on the sideline supporting his men of distinction. That's a nice move. He is the grandfather of a student here, Mr. Michael Holmes. That's a nice move. Okay, the, the Tigers and reeled him in. Okay, this is a role reversal. The men of distinction call a desperate timeout. There's a look of concern on their faces. They got their families and their wives and their kids sitting in the audience, and they might be going down to some eighth graders and seventh graders. So there's a lot of pride at stake here. I'm glad I'm not playing. Uh, look at, can we get a camera on the middle distinction? They grabbing their knees. They grabbing their legs, and there's a look of concern on their face, scratching their beards. Look at the board president, Mr. Hannah. He scratches his beard and everything, so they, they concerned. There's a look of concern. We're going to have to ask them how they're going to combat this. Look at board member Woody Harris. He, he's throwing his hands up in the air. He's nervous. <laughs> so, oh, no, they, they, they had a big lead, and it, it is down to one. It's going to... It's going to come down. It, it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to uh, experience right here because these little young tigers are game now. They woke up. They're not intimidated. There's a turnover. This could be. The, this could be the first. Oh, that is a beautiful pass. That's a technical foul on, on, somebody on the decision. I, put put it on the board president. <laughs> the board president. That was a that was a Bill Lambeer foul. Hey, they are not showing any mercy to these young young Lindop Tigers. They say we're gonna make a man out of you mentally and physically. All right, they got an opportunity to tie the game up right now. So the present men of distinction are Woody Morris, Greg Buchanan, Hesty Spiller, Hopewell McPherson, Serapio Martinez, Akeem Henderson, Kawani Wolford, Aaron Hanna, Michael Holmes, Thomas Millard. These are the men of distinction that are here, present. There might be some more in the audience. And I, if they are, I get their names. Appreciate the work, gentlemen. Any way we can support you, please keep us updated. I knew, I'm familiar with the ladies of distinction in this community too. I remember Maddie Robinson, legendary teacher, District 89, educated in our community, God rest her soul, but she was involved with lady distinctions. So I don't know, I'm not sure if they associated in any capacity, but we'll find out. And there's a basket by the Young Tigers. They're down by one point with two minutes and 45 seconds left. Look at board member Morris driving the ball up. Board member, President Hannah with the finger roll. They rolled in and rolled out. So close, but yet so far. Board McKenna asking to be subbed out of the game. <laughs> Coach Pignatore. <laughs> Coach Pignatore saying, you better stay in that game. <laughs> That's one of Coach Pignatore charges. This kid will launch. I told y'all, keep an eye on him. That's a good move. Good pass. He and he doesn't mind passing the ball. Give a shout out to Board President Aaron Hanna, Miss Tanya Taylor, the Vice President, Ms. Cheryl Griffin, the Secretary, Mr. Brian Dawson is a board member. Mr. Woody Morris Jr. is playing in this game here. Penny Williams Walford, my classmate, and Mr. Gregory Buchanan is here also, the board members of District 92 Lundop Elementary School. And we have to say a shout out, send a shout out to Dr. J. If you don't know who Dr. J is, what are you doing in Broadview? What are you doing in Proviso Township? Because you need to know Mr. Doc, Miss, Ms. Dr. J. Mrs. Dr. J, Dr. Janice Jackson, 
the superintendent of Ninth District 92. There go Woody. Let's see if he, he puts it in. Board member Woody. Still got a close game. This is anybody game. So that's a good pass, young man. That's a great pass. And I believe that young man is only in, in seventh grade. He played on a volleyball team yesterday. That was a nice drop pass to his teammate. 34-31, minute distinction up, 55, 57 seconds left. Mr. Hakeem Henderson with the ball. Here come Hope, he, can, he will shoot that. I'm surprised he didn't launch it. I'm surprised he didn't launch that. He will hit those. Tigers got ability to, to either tie the game up or be down by one at the end of this quarter. And he's going for the kill, boom. I'm sorry, not the word kill, but that word unalive. He's going for the unalive. We can't use that K-I-L-L -L out there, right? So we, he, try, he went for the unalive shot. Mr. Henderson said, let me put, up, put this easy bucket in. It's going to be a furious fourth quarter. You can see that. The, the table is set. The china is sitting on the table. The forks, the silverware. That's a nice drop pass, young man. He's a good ball player. He's going to help some high school, fit, number 15. Hopefully, it's provides Reese. Point four, point four seconds left. The, is there enough time to get a shot off? And end of the third quarter, minute distinction up 36 33. I'm going to find out if Mr. Board Member Morris played basketball anywhere or anyone else. I know for a fact Gray Buchanan played at St. Joe's. I know that for a fact. Um, if there's any other former players, I'll let y'all know. Now, the Tigers, they, they have a moral victory because they got within striking this. I see. I see. Y'all had him down by very heavy. <laughs> that's, that's board member Buchanan. Uh, yeah, get a, get a good look at the faces of the of the of the of the of the men of distinction. You know, because there's there's a there's a, there's a, a, a urgency, a look of alarm on their faces that they realize that they blew. Uh, they was up at least 15 points, I believe. And it dwindled down to where we are now. They only up by three points. So there is a, right now, empathy, sorrow or, or courtesy is out the window. His pure pride is on the line right now between for the men of distinction and these young Tigers. This fourth quarter should be epic and fast and furious. So now let's see how the Tigers move the ball around. That's a good movement between Buchanan and um, Akeem Henderson. That was great ball movement, acknowledgement. I see the Tigers, the young Tigers got to minimize their they turnovers now because you in striking distance. Take your time. There's Hope. He, he got moves. Close it out. Turnover. Ball possession to the men of distinction. Coach Millard is on the sideline. He's, he's, he's running up and down the sideline, giving encouragement and wisdom to his players. Giving instructions. Let's see if, if Henderson's going to... Put the shot up, and he does. It's a miss and a rebound. There's he, number 15. That's what he does. He always have a double double every game. Oh yeah, they, these youngsters are going for it. They missed the shot, but these young Tigers, they want this victory. But see, I believe the mistake that they're making is not pressing. They should be pressing right now. Challenge those them them 
seasoned legs of the men of distinction. Challenge their heart and their conditioning, rather. Not their heart, the condition, because the heart is that. The determination is there. Look at Buchanan throwing his body. He's moving bodies around. <laughs> This kid can shoot. This kid can shoot. And he, he got a nice stroke, and he's very confident. He's going to be in eighth grade next year. Mr. Hope will, will drain from them. Okay, now they're trying to. And that's going to be a foul. The Tigers are down by two points. Coach Malaya working the sidelines, working the. Referee, they go Mr. Spiller. Oh, and that's going to be deflected out of bounds. And the shot is up. That's out of bounds. And keep in mind, we have some games coming up, volleyball games here at Lindop. Volleyball. Boys volleyball on the 29th. I'm sorry, on, on the 4th, March 4th. All at the Tigers will be at Albright. And then on the 7th, Hillside would be here on the 13th. And then Hillside, there will be a game here on the 13th. And then on the 14th, the Tigers will go to SC Gross. All games here will be broadcast on the Lindop YouTube channel, live streamed by We Are Mobley Production. And you, can, and you can always reach out to We Are Mobley Production at www.wearemobley.com. Like the YouTube channel for Lindop. Like all social media pages for We Are Mobley. So we got two minutes and 52 seconds left. Last quarter. I want to send a shout out to the We Are Mobley production team. The owner is Isaac Mobley. We got Erica Mobley on the camera. We got Tanina on the media camera. And then we are all supervised by our boss, the director, Miss Hannah Mobley. And she's a stickler for perfection. Shout out to Miss Hannah Mobley. That's the We Are Mobley production team. And then we also got Richard Gill, who's normally on the side with me, sitting here announcing. He's getting some much needed rest. Richard Gill, legendary Maywoodian, former police officer in Maywood, Provisory's Pirate, and also another Provisory's Pirate, Mr. Strickland, Jerome Strickland. Both of them are, are, are very active in the church community, respected leaders, and they are part of we are Mobile Production Team. And then we, and we miss, we got, we, Miss Mia is not here. Mia's not here. She's normally the producer, and Amari is off also. So there's a huge team with, with We Are Mobile Production, and we got to give a shout-out to, to the dentist, the first lady, the Mobley family, first lady. She's a dentist. I'm going to give you all some more details about that, too, because I know we discussed yesterday or a few days yesterday whether – whether we are mobile production team get a get a family discount with our dental work. Do we get do we get free dental care? Is that in the contract somewhere? We gotta talk to Hannah about that. See, Mr. Martinez is on the on the bench, waiting to check in. And you got 
Mr. Spiller. We got a minute for 53 seconds left. All right, now, here we go. Now, just the press I was waiting on for the Tigers. They, this is what they got to do. That's a strong move by Mr. Akeem Henderson. The Tigers, if they want it, they got to go now. They got to get to the back, but this kid capable of hitting that. He is capable of hitting that shot. That's a big shot. That's good defense by number three. This kid, he, he's normally the sixth man on the eighth grade team. He is fast, quick, he can shoot, play great defense. To be honest with you, he can really start in any program. He's going to be an excellent addition to any high school program. I forgot what the nickname we, we, Chris, we gave him. And there's Henderson. Well, that's a big shot. That is a big shot by Mr. Mr. Akeem Henderson from the corner. And right back at you. Okay, that, 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 it's going to be difficult now for the young Tigers. Now, I mean, the distinction really don't need to shoot another basket because they're up. They really, but they, they are trying to put the hammer down. They are putting the hammer down. They don't have to take another shot. They go board member Hannah to, to board member Buchanan, and that's a tip by Mr. Low Key. I believe his name Mr. Wolford. Keanu Wolford, I believe. Is. Oh, no, the Tigers appear like they didn't wave the white flag. They like the men of distinction. But board member Hannah is going to take a jump shot. He said, why can't I shoot a three-pointer also? So it looked like the, it appears, unless some Reggie Miller miracle happened, New York, Indiana Pacers, Reggie Miller, some miracle happened, it appears that the men of distinction will be walking out of here with a victory over the young Lindop Tigers. The young Tigers did a great job getting back into the game, but the, the experience of the men of distinction, the camaraderie, they hung in there. When they got reeled in, and it they appears to be set to walk out with a victory. It looks like we got Mr. Martinez. Serapio Martinez, like he's about ready to check into the game. Coach Millard is still putting in the X and O's together. Gonna make sure the men of distinction bring this victory home. And it looks like the Lindau Tigers are about to unload their bench. Look at board member Morris sitting in on the Linda Tigers huddle. He's all in their huddles. Can we get a camera on him? He's all, Mr. Woody Morris is all in the, the Linda Tigers huddle, giving orders. Come on, board members, talk to this gentleman. Talk to board member Woody Morris. Hey, Mr. Morris. 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 Oh, he's in the game. This way, he's he's in the game. He's in the game. Okay, so yeah, I was correct. I, I know skills. Woody Morris played for Marshall in 1982. So he went down state with them in '81. He was there when Joe Stiffen was there, so he said he ended up playing in the Army in the military. So board member has some skills, and this appears to be the end of the game between Men of Distinction and the Linda Tigers. So that was a, a great battle. The, they shaking hands. The kids had fun. The men of distinction had fun. The families and the audience. They, the family and the audience, they not ready to leave. Look at them. Look at them. I believe you throw on some music. Are oh, they about to shake hands? This is good to see. This is good to see. These young, young Lindop Tigers, they realize they got some men that they can depend on and appreciate and trust. So this is good. Man, this is powerful. This is good stuff. Lindop, y'all got something great here. Broadview, y'all have something great here. So this is good to see. And as Coach Millar said, they want to duplicate this in other schools in the community. 
so. A king. A king. A king. Yeah, he wanted to, we got to sit down. We got to <laughs> sit down. So, hey, y'all, uh, we, we got we got Mr. Akeem Henderson. This this is the We Are Mobile Production player of the game right here. You know, this is We Are Mobile player of the game. First, congratulations. <laughs> Let me ask you a question about Men of Distinction. How long how long have you been a member, and, like, uh, what can we look forward to with, with Men of Distinction? I've been a member for a year, and what I can look forward to is helping some of the underprivileged young black men. Um, that need some guidance, yes. right? Whether it's career, co career path, figuring out who they want to be in the future, what they want to be and so forth. But just, you know, sometimes just being a listener yeah. um, and implementing different programs and contests to motivate um, some of the young kids that are struggling Absolutely. or can't find motivation to do, Absolutely. you know, to do well, well in school. Well, see, I know, I know your background. I know what I know what high school you went to and everything, but won't you let, let the artists know what, what, what community you grew up in and what high school? Yeah, so it was born on the west side, um, across from La Follette Park, Austin area. Um, moved out here, um, 89, um, attended Lindob, attended Proviso, went on to Jackson State, went on to the University of Chicago after that. And um, yeah, so, so that's right. pretty much my background. Didn't do a lot of athletics. I didn't get focused right. until late in life. and. You know, but once I got focused, you know, things started to progress and do a lot better. Well, he, he's being very humble, y'all. I mean, he's doing some great stuff. He got, um, um, you know, real estate too, right? Yeah, so I do uh, mortgage lending, um, own the business, uh, smile great teeth whitening. Um, had one of the first patents for teeth whitening jail. Um, had a smile great uh, business out of Westchester for six years. Um, moved it to Hensdale, then sold the business. Um, real estate investing and so forth and yeah. you know working out in my spare time you know spending time with family and giving back to the community so Absolutely. He, he's being very humble y'all and Isaac Mobley you heard what he said about his um, uh, teeth whitening business yeah uh, Isaac the founder of um, we are mobile production his wife is a dentist the girl, the girl right she's a dentist in, in Westchester okay okay so maybe we need to connect y'all what's her name her what's what's okay okay Okay. That's her name. On Roosevelt. Ashley, Ashley oh, side. Okay. Ashley side. Yep. Uh, yeah. Roosevelt. Yep. So I was right across from her. I know exactly. So we need to connect y'all, but that's okay. good stuff, man. Yeah. Keep us updated. Okay. So this this gentleman, you know, he always at the Bulls game. You'll see him on camera, <laughs> yeah. representing. So yeah. appreciate you, man. Yeah. Right, appreciate you too. All okay. right. Peace. Yeah. Okay. 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 Peace and grace. All right, everybody. Well, okay. that is it here from Lindop Elementary School, y'all, where the men of distinction conquered over Lindop boys basketball team keep in mind that next week is the spelling bee there's a next a spelling bee here on march 5th spelling bee lindop elementary school so um just keep in mind that we have broadcast coming up i'm randy mcfarland this is we are mobile production live and streaming from bobby elementary school take care and god bless have a good weekend